second day of Oshkosh, we just talked to two remarkable young men who Bob would have gotten such a kick out of. They are. Aren't they? Hoover Scholarship winners, this wonderful uh, partnership between CJP, some of the best pilots in the known universe, and the Bob Hoover Legacy Foundation, who kind of like those guys. We're having a lot of fun with them. Uh, tell me about the scholarship program. How does somebody actually apply or how they selected? What is the program and what do they get? What is this all about? You bet. It, it's absolutely my pleasure. So the program was actually born um, when Bob was still alive, before he passed. There was a group of his close friends, of one of which you are, that got together and talked to Bob because Bob wanted to leave a legacy. Bob very much believed in mentoring young students he loved, loved talking to young, fresh minds and wanted to mold them and just engage in their potential future for aviation. So with that, it actually started with Bob wanting to catalog his memorabilia because he wanted to do something special with the memorabilia. So then his friends got together and said, well, you know, we really would like to do something special since you're so involved and, and so engaged in mentoring youth. We'd like to do the Citation Jet Pilots Bob Hoover Presidential Scholarship Award. Mm -hmm. Well, Bob just lit up and he said, oh, I, I, I couldn't be more honored. That's wonderful. So the program was put together and we launched it the first year in 2015. Mm -hmm. We had one student that we interviewed from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University and we felt we had a stellar student, and we certainly did, indeed. He was mm -hmm. a prime example of ERAU being the ambassador of the ERAU and the Citation Jet Pilots Association. So with that, we had a, a fantastic year with him. Bob always came out, we brought him out, and he always spent time with our Hoover Scholars. So they had one-on-one -on -one time with Bob Hoover, which is just priceless, absolutely priceless and um, they got this wonderful award. It is a $25,000 scholarship award, so it, it is a large award, but it's a very meaningful award. So we've got our past Hoover Scholarship students that are, are in careers flying. We just had one visit us last night, Anna Robinson. She was one of our 2016 scholars, oh, wow. and she came back last year too. She always tries to get back to Oshkosh, and she always tries to meet up with us while we're there. So it's kind of exciting. So she came back, and she met the two boys that we have here this year. So we'll put them in contact because, you know, she's a wealth of knowledge. She's launched her career. She's flying and she's doing a wonderful job. So it's important for these guys to be able to connect with some of our past Hoover Scholar recipients and kind of feel out what path they took, how they became successful, how CJP helped bring a part of their success into play. We have a lot of members who are extremely knowledgeable, valuable resources. They are willing to put forth their time and mentor these young minds. Well, I can tell you, I've had these great men in my life, my dad and my grandfather and a few others, but my friendship and relationship with Bob is one of the most treasured of my life. So what you're doing, the way you're doing it, just gladdens my soul to 10 decimal places and I can't thank you enough and it's nice to know that people so caring and so concerned about Bob's legacy are in charge of it. Aero TV is brought to you by Why wait for the electric aircraft revolution when Pipistrel started it years ago? Pipistrel's Alpha Electro Trainer and the Pipistrel Taurus Electro Sailplane are here now. Check them out at pipistrel-usa.com.